So let's take a look at these metric tiles and how they set it up. The tile ends up as a web part, and it's supported by the key metrics that have been defined for the site or for, in this case, for the office. So that list, which is a Brightwork list that is built into the sites and the, and the offices, allows you to define key performance metrics. So in terms of cost, this is looking at, at the entire budget for the portfolio projects, and it's, it's capturing that. And then it's looking at your estimated costs and comparing it to that and coming up with a threshold of when the indicator will go from green, yellow to red. So I'm capturing some information from the projects in real time, actual costs, plan costs, remaining costs, and current costs. And then they're being compared to, uh, they're being compared to each other. Same thing with dates. Dates are, are looking at uh, plan start and finish. And then the time indicator would be looking at, uh, in this case, it's counting uh, the number of late projects that are out there. So, and it's comparing it to the number of open projects. And in this, in this case, this metric is saying, if I reach 10% uh, of the projects are late, then I want to go, I want the indicator to show yellow. If I get to 20% of the open projects are late, then I want this indicator to be red. So at a portfolio level, we're, again, we're looking at averages rather than a total count of items. It's also tracking some other things. So back in our, uh, in our office page here, this dashboard can now display that information very easily and is easily configured to include other key metrics. So the way it sets up, I'm looking at overall health. I'm looking at the time, quality costs, risks, open projects, and I might even add another one into this. I didn't add cost, or did I? Uh, did I? Yeah, I did cost up there. Um, overdue items. So this would be the count of all overdue items within the within the project, and you can even set it up to link to a report. So let's say 41 overdue uh, items, I'd want to look at the work reporting to see what is what makes up that 41. And I can set that metric up to go right to this report. And this will tell me what's late and who's responsible. And it's another another form of status. Last, let's look at the scorecard one more time and see how that sets up. So I'm going to go over to the status charts here. We'll just, uh, it should open up here shortly. Okay, so the office scorecard, again, is looking at metrics, but it's also it's capturing the trends and showing what the metric indicators were over time. And this way you can see if you're trending better or worse. And on, on, the, uh, on the metrics and the key metrics that are important to you. So I'm looking at the last five intervals and it's monthly intervals. It could be set up to weeks, quarters, years, whatever makes sense. You know, typically looking at the last six periods is a good in, uh, gives you a good indication of where you were and where you're going in terms of trends. And uh, different themes can be used. It can either be the indicators or if you want, you could set the theme to show you the values and the indicator uh, conditions and the trending. You can all, this is all customizable. So I change it to a block colors and now this is how the scorecard's gonna look. So I'm getting a count and how it's trending, count of costs and how they're trending. 
the risk level. So the many ways that you can utilize that. 